All right, Global Dokkan players, you guys got a pretty good announcement here. It seems that you guys are actually going to be getting the physical Goku Black Super Easy A uh, for part two of the Frieza celebration on Global. There was a couple of announcements here, such as new Red Zone stages, Resurrection F Dragon Ball Story, right? And this is something right here that was on the Rose celebration and GP. Um, this was obviously part of the New Year celebration in JP. This was part of the Frieza, uh, the, the Topo celebration, I think, actually, in JP. So it's like they're just mixing a bunch of different things here. I mean, Global always has its funny little stuff, but um, yeah, I actually really thought it was going to be Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks here. Um, now it's a thing of where is Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks? What's going to happen to him? You could also still think possibly that LR Cell Max is coming to global, maybe. I, I can't really say for sure. Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly, I would still say probably not because uh, we do see that the Ginyu Dokkan event does actually um, is scheduled to leave in like three days, right? Uh, here, D Simmons did post that here, that the Guinea Dokkan event is leaving in three days. So I assume like it's leaving and then it's gonna be back up because it's gonna be up permanently, specifically for the duration of the Guinea Force banner. That's how like a lot of times they handle this stuff. These events leave and then they're kind of put back up before a different time frame. Um, now, Okay, we're gonna talk about physical Goku Black and everything come to global. I do want to mention though, I will be live in a bit uh, for LR Cell Max summons, things like that. Feel free to check it out. The stream should already be basically like um, prepared in the channel, scheduled for about an hour from the, this actual specific recording time. So yeah. Anyways, physical Goku Black. The first thing I want to point out is that the global version is going to be slightly better. And the reason why is because the global version has higher attack stats and higher HP stats. We take a look here. 19.3k HP, 18k attack on the global version. The JP version is specifically 16.4k attack and 18.5k HP. So the global version is going to be hitting quite a bit harder, right? That's 1.5k extra attack. And that matters quite a bit because I think with this Goku Black, you really want to go defensive equips. This Goku Black is a major like scaling with orbs, right? You get 60% attack and defense with key spheres, right? It says 50 right here, but if you have a full super bosses rotation or you're against a Goku family enemy, he does also get an extra 10% per key sphere. So on his like ideal team you do have him with 60 percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained and he is creating rainbow key spheres he gets up to 300 percent multiplicative defense like giving him a level like seven defense equip and then like a like a dodge defense equip on his gold skill right uh, on the um the gold slot specifically that gives him quite a lot of defense this guy does also start to support extreme class for three key and 30 percent defense right i think on the global version he already had the three key yeah so they just add defense there and they added the key to global which is nice or to jp which is nice but i i feel like the kit itself is gonna be basically the same i i, I think you know there's like you could argue that maybe the kit would be a little different on global but I feel like the kit's going to be exactly the same on Global and JP, so that's fine, honestly. Not a big deal that Global has a slightly better one. It really doesn't matter at all. Um, at least to me personally, I think overall this guy's going to perform the same. And I think, honestly, even more than the um, the attack stat, the extra HP, I'm actually kind of jealous of. Because <laughs> like the this guy, I'm not really looking... I have four like a major damage dealer. He does do like a pretty decent like attack set overall, but he's not like a character that's like doing a bunch of additionals or you know he has like always guaranteed crit. He could theoretically build up to guaranteed crit here, but you have to get hit 15 times. Like this guy's not gonna be a character you look for with this damage, but He's a really good debuffer. The great lower attack and defense. Pair this guy with Broly Trio uh, with him as a rainbow orb changer. You have Broly Trio slot one, this guy in slot two. Then you actually have like a really good one two punch combo. Broly Trio, great lower's attack. This guy, great lower's attack, right? And you could really debuff the enemy in a 
very huge way, like against Kid Buu. Kid Buu, like this rotation of physical Goku Black and the um, Broly Trail will absolutely destroy I should probably, I should do a video on that. I, I have not taken this guy in Kid Buu. I definitely will do that in the next few days. Um, I think my only gripe with this guy is that I feel like his... Like, he's not able to be as good against super attacks as i think like the two better uh supers in my opinion actually i don't think i made a tier list yet for this guy either I, again i guess i have an extra opportunity to do that when he releases on global i'll probably have uh the kid boo event showcase for this guy and then a tier list for him i have it's not 100 percent set in stone for me but i'm thinking again based on my overall usage for this guy i do actually like the tech super saiyan 3 go tanks and the physical kid boo better just because they have a damage reduction in in them right i think the damage reduction is just really good super saiyan 3 goku even has a dodge i think over usage i do probably like goku black a little better than super saiyan 3 goku which i felt like I think you could still argue Super Saiyan 3 Goku over physical Goku Black, but I think that even though he doesn't have the dodge ability, him having the debuff is really nice. Where is Kid Buu? He is down here. Yeah. But again, these guys have the damage reduction. Uh, this guy gets built up to 60% reduction here, the 40% there, then a 20% baseline. This Gotenks at 11 key, which is pretty simple to get in most of his teams, I would argue. Uh, he has 50% damage reduction right here, 50% chance to crit, high chance to dodge, right? I, I just feel like the overall, these guys like have similar offensive stats honestly to physical goku black this guy's main thing is a debuff i think again debuff he is supporting extreme class rainbow orb changing but i think you know kid boo is like a if, if you view these two as a support role even though kid boo doesn't have the debuff i think kid boo is just a better version of this guy right he, they're both physical and the gotenks i think it's just overall stronger consistent more consistently defensively but um this guy's still quite good. There are turns where you're able to get a lot of key spheres with him because he does have the potential to make physical key spheres if you're against a super class enemy and you could potentially get a good amount of those as well. Uh, that can, can also help Broly Trio as well. Uh, but you could argue that can also hurt Broly Trio if that he changes the orbs that you want. Like if you want to grab some of the STR orbs in the field to give the attack buff or maybe the it orbs in the field to get the defense buff but then goku black changes those key spheres to physical that could be kind of annoying right um but you know there, there are turns where you get enough orbs with goku black and then he's able to live any super theoretically right there are situations where you can give him broly trails full field of key spheres i don't really like that i think a lot of people may show that off but I, i'm not a huge fan of that at all i think that um <clears throat> like doing that and getting rid of broly trails like guaranteed full dodge turn could really be annoying right um so that's the only thing but no i i, I do like this guy quite a bit i think that he's a super huge help on the like super bosses team and now that super bosses is also getting cell max right on gp and i guess again it's not we'll see i'm pretty sure ginyu's next on global but it's there it could be so max I, I would not be surprised i guess and they push ginyu back um I couldn't tell you, right? But this guy releasing right now is interesting. Um, but we have a lot of debuffers on this team, actually. Again, we have Broly Trio who debuffs. We have this physical Goku Black Super Easy who debuffs. We have the Cell Max who does actually also debuff attack. You know, you could run Tech Fusion Zamasu. He does also... I believe he he does great lore attack, does he not? Yeah, it's like... You, you gotta have four characters on the team greatly loring attack... And that could be pretty nasty. You could also uh, run this freeze. He does stun, right? You know, I think this freeze is pretty good. Where's the stun ability he has? Uh, he does. He has stun, does he not? I swear he has stun. Am I crazy? I, th I, I thought he had stun in him. Huh. Maybe, maybe I'm insane. Chad, I think I'm just like crazy. No. <laughs> what i swear he, i swear he had a stun chat i'm not i'm not insane you're insane well anyways <laughs> i mean i like how Gleefla could debuff that's funny this beerus debuff i forgot if this guy debuffs would he oh he there's a sleepy bears great dude you could run like a lot of characters who great little attack that could be that's so nasty really thinking about it super boss is like a major debuffing team 
Toughest, yeah, bro here to carry the damage. Um, a lot of people do actually run the Sleepy Beerus because, like, you could have some max of Sleepy Beerus, and then if you there's a, there's the uh, like there's the talk about running some max as a friendly, it actually, even though he's only 150 percent because, like, you're missing out on 50 percent stats, but then you're getting a second target skill character, and like, running two Broly's could be a little silly or two Rose's because of the fact that you can't domain with both of them. So, it's like you get another cell max, you can use his target skill, run Sleepy Beerus, and then you have three target skill characters, and they all also great little attack. So, you know, that could be really funny. Anyways, uh, again, I think this guy's good. I think global players will enjoy him, right? Especially with physical rose. Uh, if you do have physical rose, I guess, right? One day that guy will return in global surety. Let me know what you guys think. I'm end the video here. I will be live in an hour for some X and I'll catch you all next time.